Okay, so this will be the advanced instrument technique video two. So the first one we're gonna go over is a sponge stick. So you need to know what instrument is used to create a sponge stick. So I'm gonna get my ring forcep, and this is just a ring forcep by itself, but I also need a Raytec to create this. So the Raytec has that, uh, whoop, that radiolucent um, marker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the Raytec into thirds, one, two, three. And then I'm going to fold it in half, creating this. And you notice the way I folded it, I wanted that marker to be on the outside and I wanted it to be all the way around. You don't wanna fold it to where it's only visible on one part. Then I'm gonna take my ring forcep and I'm gonna clamp it right in the middle, containing both ends. I wanna make sure everything's contained at the bottom now this is a sponge stick and it is ready to be used. So that is how you create a sponge stick. And then we're gonna go over loading a kittener. So which instrument would you need to load a kittener? You would need an oshner or a coker. You would need an oshner or a coker with that tooth. So your kitteners come like this in the package and they'll usually be stuck to your mail or back table. So I'm going to grasp it with the oshner this one doesn't have a dot. Sometimes they'll have a dot on them, and if that's the case, you wanna line the tooth up with that dot. This one, since it just has a marker all the way around, I'm just gonna go on either side. You want to go on either side of this and ratchet the Oshner, and now it is a Kittner. So this is ready to be passed as well, and they'll use that. And then to um, unload and reload, I always make sure I'm over the, um, container for them and then I'm going to grab the next one. So if they get really bloody, you want to switch them out because these are used for blunt dissection and when they get very bloody, it's not as easy. Oh, time out. 